beloved, we are gathered here today to honor America's most successful pop artist, Julie Delicious. Julie Delicious. Julie Delicious. While she still sleeps, we mourn. We mourn. As she listens, we speak. As she listens, we speak. If there's one human that has had a mark on humanity, on beauty, on culture, and on art, it's Julie Delicious. Julie. Julie Delicious. Most of you know me as Obsessed with Julie. Julie Delicious had an incredible impact on my life. She's hot like the sun. Sometimes she's cold as ice. Hope she leaves me most of her mind and give someone else her pet mice. That's a little joke for you, baby. I want to inhabit her soul. I want to be her. She is my source of inspiration for everything. And today- Once upon an orange grove, her bodies never held their consistence. Why am I here? These people actually like Julie. Got it. Someone had asked in the comments before, like, what's a good way to cry but still, like, look pretty? You know, you don't want, like, the Kim K ugly cry. How much longer is this going to last? Already it's been 17 hours, and I want to stand with someone and hold on to their face and look at them in the eyes and tell them I love Julie Delicious was the purest artist I have ever known. When we were young, she was the one that taught me to limit my caloric intake to a thousand calories a day. Our mother always called her Julie Perfect because, because of her perfect well, body. Her perfect body and also she got, she got good, good grades. grades. <sighs> Even when she became a pop star, she always sent me the most beautiful Fendi bags for Christmas and even Easter. And that's how I know that she was true. I used to write her off as a vapid pop star. Was I wrong? Is she, in fact, the greatest artist to ever exist, dying in front of a crowd of people she's gathered? Or is this just another example of how self-obsessed she is? You totally don't get who Julie is at all. Kind of look up and like be stoic about it. And maybe if you can get like a single tear running down your cheek. I want to be her reincarnation. I will live like her. I will lose my virginity like her. And I will die like her too. She's alright. She's alright. It's alright, everybody. She's alright. Okay. What is art? If not for the evocation of emotion. What is pain? If not for the reminder of pleasure. What is connection? If not for the void of darkness. And what is humanity? If not for shared existence. When I die, my diaries and my wardrobe will be donated to the Met. The crotchless latex pant. The, uh... Saran wrap choker, oil denim boots. And guys, I'm not doing too hot right now because my girl ain't doing too hot right now. No, no, brand. And I, I will die. I don't know, know what to say about you. I will be I'm sitting in front of my in the magazine, collecting radiation. I'm, try I'm smoking packs of cigarettes. Of the 200 people invited, only 43 have had the courage to walk up to that microphone and talk about Julie. I know because there is a scorecard. Like this is a sporting event. I have yet to divulge my history with the singer and I hope she dies before I have to. We met 15 years ago. I was invited to this party that she was throwing at her spot in Hollywood. She was promoting that album at the time. You know the one, I'm an ocean, I'm a princess, I'm a dream. I had reviewed it before it came out and I was critical, but I was impressed. Her words showed this self-awareness that I didn't think was possible with someone who was already so successful. 
Anyway, I get to the party. I'm standing in the corner. I'm staring at all of these beautiful people. I feel like an absolute creep. And this guy walks up to me. He hands me a note and he says, Julie, we'll see you at 1020. Oh my God, Christine, it is so nice to meet you. Of course, I had a thousand questions running through my head. How are you able to be so honest with yourself? What about your relationship with your Do mom? Do you ever lie to yourself? Do you think that being self-conscious is innately human? Why are you so concerned with beauty? Was it hard to make art knowing already that an audience would be consuming it? What experiences made you so distrustful? Do you ever feel like you're living in this meta experience where you're like creating art and like at the same time just like... Huh, that is an interesting question. Um, no, I did not consider that at all. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not self-conscious. How do I look now? My family? Who cares? What I think about is like, am I beautiful? I love attention. Do people like me? No. <laughs> I just no, want to I... be perceived as prettier than the models in my living room. Yes, my family still loves me. That when I'm making music, Doesn't everybody like, want to be beautiful? That's so cute that you would say that. Why would you even think that I would <laughs> ever try to <laughs> do that? No, I'm, I'm, I am honest with myself. <laughs> I'm not so conscious. Over time, I realized the genius I perceived was accidental art. I don't want to stand at that microphone because I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Julie Delicious is a narcissist. Julie only cares about herself. Julie Delicious has so much money and yet is the least altruistic person I have ever met in my life. There is more to life than signing the chest of a 20-year-old boy and watching him break up with his girlfriend. Yet there she is. Julie Delicious, 43 years old, afflicted with cancer and again unintentionally probing us to question our short lives in every aspect of our human interactions. She was unafraid to reveal her desires for immortality. Therefore, she is immortal. Art is evocative and Julie Delicious is art.